Hello everyone, thank you for being here. I would like your help today to figure out something about the generation of millennia. Like I mentioned last year, uh, it was in July, 2023, I believe, I, I actually met few teenagers who were struggling. They were lost and they don't have, they have low self-esteem. They don't have confidence on themselves. And it was really difficult. And I need to understand wh what's going on to be able to help them. I'm reaching out today because for the past, I would say three, three four months, it's becoming worse and worse. Those generations start to become suicidal. And I'm not talking about I've been hearing or uh, somebody told me. It's, re you see, it's really close to me. And I have a lot of people, a lot of actually teenagers, because it's between like 17 and 22, they made suicide. Two of them, it didn't succeed, thank God. But what, what will be the consequence for that? I'm trying to figure out what's really going on with that generation. I know there is a lot of people who are saying that, you know, it's the generation of technology, of social media, and so on, but some of them are not. And those kids come from a good family and they don't know where if they belong. It's what I for what I been hearing from them is like belonging somewhere. They, they feel like they don't belong where they are and they are not understood. That's what's coming up more often. And I'm trying to, because I'm really trying to understand because I would like to help them. I would like to find a way to help them. And I'm reaching out for some of you who are watching me, if you are working with those teenagers, if you are uh, making some activity, doing some activity with those young youth who need help, I would like to know what are you doing? What is the process? Because yes, I know a few people. I can say it's about like eight or 10 uh, young children, which is a lot. And that's just what is close to me. But what about what I don't hear about or I don't see or I just hear about? And those children are going to see therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists. They even go to uh, an institution for a month to be, to, to be helped and so on. But for some reason, they are getting worse and worse to the point that they made suicide. I have, since January, I have like three, four um, children. I call them children because at that age, they're still children who passed away. They take their life. So is anything that's going on that I'm not aware of or something's going on that's some that's what i feel and this is the first thing that i are uh, looking for answer and i might not get answer but if i can have some help of some of you who are working maybe with those children maybe i can find a way to talk to the one who are close to me and try to um feel the spirit and give them hope that's what i'm looking for really to help them that they need to to find hope whatever what was going on through their mind and the second part yes the second part is more about where where the humanity has gone um, how can we as a human seeing another human being 
been hurt, um, not feeling well, and it doesn't affect us. That's what I'm trying to understand that, you know, when you, you can see someone from, uh, if you go to your supermarket, on the street, uh, anywhere that you don't know, but you see the person who are suffering, who are not well, and you just watch and look away and just walk away and just tell yourself that it's not, uh, <clears throat> It's not my problem. I have a lot. I have enough with my uh, my own one. I'm not judging. I'm I'm not judging. I'm just trying to understand how a human being don't feel anything toward another human being who's suffering. Maybe is a. Uh, one of the symptoms of the ascension of the shift of the world that I'm feeling, that I feel like everything that is happening at the moment, what everything that I'm seeing doesn't make sense. Is it me or, I don't know, maybe there is something that is not right <laughs> and Maybe I know there is a lot of sufferings, people who are suffering around the world. I'm not, I'm not saying we have to help everybody. I'm saying when it's close to you, when it's in your neighborhood, when it's really you're going somewhere and you meet someone on the street, maybe it's just me, but I feel that some people don't really care or they don't want to be involved uh, seeing someone suffering. Sometimes we see someone who's just sitting there, it's not fine. Just go, just go talk to the person, just say, are you okay? That's, sometimes they just need someone to, to see them and just to listen. It's not always to act on something or to, to give money or to, anything is just to be there and to acknowledge that they have problem. Maybe it's me, maybe it's me, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that's the, the two things I was uh, thinking of for the past uh, few days because it's terrible, especially for the generation of millennia. Something's gone on there. I don't know exactly what it is. But for it's been since last year, I've been talking about it and it's getting worse and worse. Is it a message that we need to understand through this? Is it something going on uh, in, the, in those generation? Because it, for some reason, it's really the millennium child, children that is going through this. It's like they don't belong. They don't feel like they belong here. Uh, they have a low self-esteem, uh, they don't feel love, but they, the family, they really around them. And like I'm, I was mentioned, they are really coming from a good family, but for some reason, they don't feel it. Uh, they don't feel attached and they're gone after 17 years here on earth, 20 years. So please, Put a, a comment in, below this video if you are working or if you are you you are living the same situation. And I would like to take this advantage to offer a beautiful gift, which is called Self Love. It's an ebook that uh, I will add the link below this video. Self Love is so important because when you love yourself, then you can love others, but you need to love yourself first. And it will increase your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and you need that to be yourself. Find the link below this video and please share with someone who needs to read it, to need to find hope through this uh, ebook. This is my message actually for you today. And please comment below the video 
if you have any advice, any uh, someone who's working uh, with youth and will be willing to be a guest to my channel and share the information. Thank you so much and have a great day and great evening, wherever you are. Until next time.